Hello everyone. Today we'll be reading Wishing for a Dragon by Becky Cameron. Outside her window, the sun has almost set and the birds are asleep in the trees. But Olive and Barney and Ella, that's me, were wide awake and ready for an adventure. Where shall we go and what shall we see? Jungles, says Olive. Treasure, says Barney. But I've got a secret wish. I really want to see a dragon. Just at that moment, a big balloon floats up to our window. Hop in, I shout, and we clamber into the basket. Where shall we go and what shall we see? Let's search the seas for pirate gold, says Barney. And before we can blink, the balloon swoops up. And up. Far below is a pirate ship on an ocean brimming with fish and sharks and big blue whales. Where there's pirates, there's treasure, says Barney. Ahoy there, can we come aboard? There's lots to do on board the ship. But I still wish I could see a dragon. We work hard, but the pirate crew aren't happy at all. We're not sharing our treasure, they grumble. Uh-oh, says Barney, it's time we were off. Where shall we go and what shall we see? Let's go to the jungle, says Olive, and our faithful balloon whisks us away just in time. Slowly the balloon drifts down to land. Brilliant butterflies flutter amongst the trees. I want to see tigers and monkeys, shouts Olive. All kinds of animals and birds rustle unseen in the leaves. But I can't see a dragon anywhere. Suddenly, out of the shadow slides a huge tiger with two little cubs. She licks her lips and both cubs stare. Yummy, she purrs. Run, yells Barney. The tiger pounces just as the balloon whisks up into the air. Where shall we go and what shall we see? The sky fills with inky clouds. A flash of lightning races past the balloon and we toss and turn in the sky. I'm scared and so are Olive and Barney. What's this here? Stop! I cry. Thump! The balloon crashes down in a magical land. Staring up, up at us in surprise are the strangest creatures. Ponies with candy floss hair. Pixies no bigger than teacups. And all kinds of woodlands animals. Want to play? I ask. We play and play until one by one the stars come out and our new friends slip away. Look, I whisper. We stare into the night at a huge shadow in the darkening sky. I wonder what that shadow is. It's my dragon. What took you so long, Ella? He says. We've never chatted to a dragon before. 
He tells us about princesses and knights and battles won and lost. We tell him about our adventures, where, he, where, where we have been and what we have seen. I'm ever so tired, I yawn at last. But how will we get back? Our balloon crashed. My dragon smiles. I'll take you home. Sleepily, we scramble onto his back and take off into the night. Back home, I watch my dragon soar away amongst the stars. Until next time, I whisper, and very softly, I hear him say, Good night. That was Wishing for a Dragon by Becky Camera. And make sure you ch just choose one of the activities in the description down below. Bye bye everyone.